It's November in Abruzzo. Time to turn our olives into olive oil. And there's a lot more to doing that than you might possibly think. Now, to start with, you don't need any baskets or ladders, but you do need lots and lots of nets spread out under the trees to gather up your crop. And you need a tractor. And the tractor provides the power for these, a giant pair of plastic hands powered by compressed air, which knock all the ripe olives out of the trees without damaging them, or without damaging my best friend Rocco. It takes him about 10 minutes to strip the olives off each tree. He makes it all look pretty easy, but trust me, it's anything but. The clappers and the pole weigh about 5 kilos. It's all very tiring and it's also very noisy. But when the machines have been turned off and the olives gathered up, here's the result. About 120 kilos from our 8 trees. And next stop is our local olive mill. The mill we use is one of five within just a couple of miles of us. All of them work flat out, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from late October to just before Christmas, to process the thousands of tonnes of olives that are harvested in our local area alone. From outside to inside, and that's where it starts getting interesting and even noisier. To begin the oil-making process, the olives are fed into a giant crusher. The two huge wheels made of solid granite grind them quite literally into a pulp. Any waste at this point is automatically separated out and what's left is spread out onto porous mats. These go into giant hydraulic presses which force the oil down through the mats, filtering it as it goes. There's no extra filtering after this so our oil is slightly cloudier and an awful lot tastier than the more refined commercially bottled stuff. And this is what you get, 100% cold pressed organic extra virgin olive oil from our very own trees. All we have to do now is go back home and see what it's like. So it's time for the acid test to see whether all that effort has been worthwhile. We picked, as I've said earlier, about uh, 120 odd kilos of olives from our eight trees and that's given us give or take about 18 litres of oil. We've kept 15 and we've given Rocco three only fair, he helped an awful lot and we just couldn't have done it without him. But now comes the acid test to find out whether this is really any good. And I'm making a slight rod from my back here, opening this without having done it beforehand. But uh, we shall see what it's like. Let's have a give it... Uh... Well, it doesn't smell too bad. Pretty good actually. And this is where I make a complete rod for my own back, trying to pour oil from a 15 litre or from a 5 litre container into a thimble full, so hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. Let's see how we go. Looks, I have to say, absolutely lovely. Let's put this out of the way. Beautiful, lovely, greeny gold colour. Can't resist, sorry. Mmm, that is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to, um, ooh, peppery, grassy, quite mild, not, not too forceful. That's, that's pretty good. Right, we're going to cut some bread. Always happy, always handy to have a, a loaf of bread handy. So we're going to cut some bread and uh, try our oil in the traditional way, which is um, just dribble a little oil over a piece of bread. And we'll see how we go. Some more. Let's be generous. We have enough of it. Give this a try. Mm. You will love this. Excuse me for speaking with my mouth. You will love this. It is absolutely delicious. Last year's oil was um, maybe not to everybody's taste. It was a little bit strong. 
Um, this is much milder. Lovely peppery catch in the back of your throat. It is absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Mustn't be greedy and scoff the lot. So I think I can safely pronounce the 2010 Villas for Two Olive Harvest a success. 15 litres, some for us and some for you too because this will be, this will be the oil that is waiting for you in your villa when you take a Villas for Two holiday uh, here at pretty much any time of the year. Downside is though, when it's gone, it's gone and there is no more. But uh, do come and try it. I promise you'll enjoy it and we'll look forward to seeing you at Villas for Two very soon. Goodbye for now and uh, I'll carry on with this.